what I'm there. saying? I get a phone call right now with a nigga drop. I <clears> in this fucking interview and me and my man gonna go find that nigga. That's just mm -hmm. how it go. Hold on. To your family. So I just can't, I just can't do it, bro. I probably be all the way there. You see the features and shit that I got, bro? I'd be all the way there, but I just couldn't move. I couldn't leave here. I couldn't leave. You know what I'm saying? I just couldn't. I could have, but I would have been a nut ass nigga. Ten, month, ten, ten months into my fame and blowing all the way, that would have been all over the blogs. This nigga, this nigga knew his family I was at war and just head. left. Yeah, now I do it again. I do it again now. I do it now. But at the time, I wasn't thinking about that because I was fresh off the street and this the shit that I do. You feel me? So you said you would have left if you had the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everybody say sure. that too. I would have, I, I would have like helped my folks out and shit, but saying I would have left, like, cause at the end of the day, shit, like. And you, Ben, was telling me I that. Stopped, my yeah, man, Ben, sure. was saying that to me, like. We be having bro, two different perspectives on a lot of shit, but it's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? my man, tell it's me my, all the time, dog, you know what I'm saying, like, but he gotta agree with, with, with what I'm saying, cause. And a lot of shit day, that he do, know, like a lot of shit that he do, bro. I done got a hundred thousands of phone calls about this nigga. He might have did some shit on the internet or some shit in the neighborhood or just like whatever and it's like niggas calling me oh, so it's I, like a lot of shit that he do though i ain't gonna lie like when you really think about it like he be he be having reasons though bro i think i kind of see how y'all relationship is he more on the high head he off the motion at times go do something you kind of the heat check yeah. the nigga that he respect that he'll listen to like hey yeah. bro you gotta chill out yeah Absolutely. you gotta have those type of people but in one your thing life. about my man he never gonna tell me to chill because he know i ain't just doing nothing for no reason mm -hmm. He might give me some advice on how to do it better or might tell me just wait a couple days because it's hot and everybody know about it, but mm -hmm. he never going to tell me to chill. That's one thing that he never going to do. He never going to say chill. Before he say chill, he going to lace up and go with me. You know what I'm sure. saying? If he feel like I ain't going to be safe doing it or I feel like I he feel like I need an extra man, he going to lace up and that's what we going to do. Oh, See what shit. I'm saying? I get a phone call right now with a nigga drop. I <clears> in this fuck interview and me and my man gonna go find that nigga that's just mm -hmm. how it go like right now i'm like just like on, on kind of a break man because since, since 19 i've been like working on myself and i ain't really been paying attention to my family and shit i had got going on so now i feel like the whole 2022 i had to fall back for real for real you know what i'm saying fall back so 2023 i'm about to bust back out you getting the first yak yola interview of 2023 matter of fact the only interview. I ain't doing no more interviews and none of that shit. Take us back to that day, because that sound like a crazy little high-speed story. So, look, we is coming from a hookah bar. Me and my manager in the crib, we coming from a hookah bar. We peep niggas. See, see, our vision is crazy. We got that real street vision. We seen the nigga going in the car garage. We seen him come out and go in. He don't got no car. Mm -hmm. He peeking around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So, by the time we got to go down in that car garage and get our car. So, by the time we, we hurried up and made it to our car, and got in cuz looking for us but he can't find us cuz my will bombed and he don't know what kind of car around me you feel mm -hmm. me he just know it's yak yola so I stab out of there when I drive out of there I'm driving so fast cuz I don't know if it's somebody on our ass and I drive past a cop and now they hit the lights I can't stop I got all my niggas in the car there's a gun in the car for every single last one of us we all going to jail you know what I'm saying and I'm the ticket they can't let me go to jail but I'd rather go to jail just for speeding in the loo and then let my homies get away with the burners you feel me but if it had to come down to it if they would have got out without them guns i wouldn't have been mad i wouldn't have had no attitude because that's the life i live man that's what come with this shit my name yak yak me high speed chase i drive fast i don't pull over for the cops whatsoever i just caught a new case yeah. going out of town <laughs> i ain't even had nothing on me i'm just in a mustang and i know this bitch faster than all the cop cars so i just took him you feel me because that's what i do i'd be rat cat if i pulled over for the cop because my name specifically means don't pull over for the cop. <laughs> you feel me yep. so that's what it is but everything i rap and i say i live by them i live by that shit how they get you in the stand you got lost traction or something no look i was in this neighborhood i was on my way to williamsport three hours from now coming through all these rural town amish towns and all that shit i'm the only black person there i wasn't even trying to get away and fleeing the loot all the way i just wanted to get off of that dark block mm -hmm. with all these racist ass cops so i just snatched off on them trying to make it to the wawa mm -hmm. so by the time i'm smashing off on these niggas the people in the neighborhood trying to help the cops so a nigga cut me off now i could have got away i could have hit this car and killed the nigga v here claw homicide you know what i'm saying but then i'd have really been fried i'd probably be in jail for life right now so i took the chances and ran up a mountain and could have killed myself i took the chance of killing myself before i smoked somebody else and go to jail you feel me 